Okay, so let's start with the first hands-on. Um, the Virgin STM32WB, when it comes from factory, it contains only only FUS. There is no stack because the customer has to choose what 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 he wants. Um, so they will need to do it eventually, and we will show you uh, a various way to do this. Uh, the Nucleo boards, they are flashed with the Bluetooth stack, uh, but it's already out of date. Uh, there has been a, ma a release of a new version since the mass market. And uh, a thing I didn't say, that even the FUS is upgradable. So we will do this as well. So let's unpack the boards. You've done that already. Uh, just to summarize, uh, the bigger board, uh, we call it a Nucleo, the smaller one, uh, we call a dongle. So on a dongle you will find a WB in a QFN48. There is no ST-Link on the board, so the easiest way to program is with the system USB bootloader. So to put the device in the, in the bootloader mode, we need to put this boot switch into the position, uh, position 1. So this will this will make this will make the microcontroller boot into system memory and connect in USB DFU mode. So what I'd like you to do is put the boot switch in the position one and execute the batch file. So the batch file is actually calling uh, um, is using Cube Programmer command line interface. And it's firstly erasing the old Bluetooth stack, it's upgrading the FUS, it's downloading, uh, it's upgrading the Bluetooth stack, and then it uploads the transparent mode, which is this special firmware uh, used with Cube Monitor RF. So there are actually four, four steps. So when you plug in the dongle, the green LED should be off. If you have it on, then you need to turn the switch the other way. You need to put the switch on the other side. So the batch, the batch file is located in the, in the hands-on one and it's called uh, dongle. We have experienced an issue. Uh, there, is, um, there might be an old uh, USB driver for the U DFU. So in this case, it must be r manually replaced. Okay, so this was just a quick exercise to, uh, to upgrade the Bluetooth stack on the dongle. We could do the same thing with the Nuclea. I suggest you do that after. But uh, due to time constraints, uh, we will continue with something else. So this is, ju I'll go quickly through that. It's just connecting to the USB, putting the boot uh, zero, tying the boot zero to VDD and then executing the other script. But the idea is exactly the same. So now, uh, as I said, it can also be done with uh, JTAG. So some customers, they don't have or they don't want uh, a USB interface or UART interface or they don't have it available on the, on the PCB. So, so they want to flash everything with JTAG in production. So that's also possible. However, uh, it's not uh, really mass market, so we have a project which is a proof of concept. It's uh, the source are integrated in, in your folders. Uh, it will be integrated in the Cube package in Q3, and it will become part of Cube uh, Programmer in at, at the end of the year. So the idea is the same. We're using ST-Link. There are some uh, log files to see or check for some errors.